Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to today's video where we're going over all the latest leaks and rumors in regards to Scarlet and Violet. If you've been keeping up with all of our coverage so far, you'll know in our last video we had a bunch of new information and it was kind of split because we were waiting on another two stages from what Riddler Koo was gonna put out in regards to this object mon, which we'll be looking at in today's video. We've got a bunch of things to kind of cover today, all interesting, all really exciting things to get us hyped up for Scarlet and Violet so without further ado let's hop over and have a look at what these leaks are. If you aren't aware of who Riddler Koo is he's a very well-renowned leaker within the community he leaked a bunch of things out for previous generations and all of it pretty much come true uh, so you know we can't say for definite that these leaks are 100% but you can say pretty much 99% of the things that Koo's putting out are very reliable you get them all from the chinese community and then kind of relays them in riddles which is always really good and exciting to kind of get involved with and kind of put ideas forward for these new games so last video we ended up with this uh this first stage of three riddles from ku and it was talking about a brand new object pokemon that we're going to see in scarlet and violet so the first riddle was we covered it in the last video long long time ago my puppy started on a journey in the titan region titan region just for you that don't know is the code name for the region in scarlet and violet it said that she caught a cool pokemon but no one has ever seen it before a lot of rumors went viral someone said she caught a tabu coco to be continued so stage two and three of the riddle will come now i was feeling like we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for stage two and three but it appears in the last 24 hours that ku's kind of put those out so we'll cover those in a minute now we surmised from this first kind of a hint here that it was the galo de parcelos um but i don't feel like that is the case anymore uh, there was a lot of kind of hints to it being an object pokemon type coco being a rooster and then obviously with the hints from masuda as well when he was in Portugal with that object mon the kind of the totem for uh, Portugal it made a lot of sense but we've had the second part of this riddle now which we'll get on to now uh, you can see the picture for this one is a slowpoke so second stage another rumor saying she caught a slowpoke came the way I admitted I was intrigued until receiving a letter from her cried about joining fake team rocket actually a cosplay brothel and losing her v thing i then quickly replied stay strong babe don't forget your true mission so that's the second part of this three-part riddle and then the third part goes on to the final stage saying finally my puppy came back i asked what spoils she brought back she dared not look up Nothing but, she bleated, I wanted to find a Tapinium Z, but I went to the Titan region. Are you a dumbass? Wait for your punishment. Although she did catch a new Pokemon there. Who is it? So, they are the three kind of hints that we've got and honestly when i first read them i was like so confused because i was so convinced from just the type of coco one that it was the galo de Barcelos, but i don't think that's the case anymore now reading through the replies to, to ku's riddles here there was a really great one that caught my eye from paul Oki, and uh, you can say scratch that I, i'm thinking it's a coin pokemon type coco is the head when closed which makes a lot of sense slowpoke represents the tail and what has a head and a tail but no body which is the riddle that ku is talking about which is it, it's all based off this actual real life riddle that he's kind of fabricated with the pokemon knowledge around it a coin not sure how the final piece fits which is the 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 z crystal uh, but this makes some sense now i think 100 percent onto it here and then this is kind of expanded by soul silver again another really great uh, leak analyst and has some really good ideas on what these riddles kind of mean putting them together and giving you a good answer for it and i think this is probably nailed on by soul silver uh, no need to go much further on this one 99 percent nailed it what uh, has a head and a tail but no body a coin also ku said to pay attention to the positive and negatives what's there or not there so our object mon is probably a coin however this leads me to a few more things i'm always hesitant at first so i did what ku said side note we now know he made google riddles to use this uh, for his riddles so that's another thing to think about going forward for future riddles but when i googled coin money riddles nothing came up but it was only until i googled head and tails riddles that it came up with this which also made me click uh, what has a head and no tail but no body 
So that makes a lot of sense because you've got the the head, which is the tapu koko, it makes a lot of sense. When it closes its its shell or its wings, it becomes a head, which is part of its Z crystal, its its kind of signature Z move. When a body does appear, but it doesn't really exist, right? And then you've got the Slowpoke, which is renowned for Slowpoke tails because we know Team Rocket, even with that reference in there, Team Rocket went on to sell Slowpoke tails, try and capture Slowpokes, and then sell their tails because they're high value. And then you've got the, the Z Crystal, which I guess is the kind of a hint at uh, no body because Tapu Koko, when it closes its head, it is just a head. It doesn't have a body. But when you use its signature Z move, a body does appear because it becomes the big totem Pokemon uh, with the head sitting on top of it. But the body doesn't actually exist. So I guess you can put and surmise like all three into that. So they all kind of connect up in that sort of way. So it does feel like it's going to be a coin Pokemon. Um, and uh, it's kind of exciting because uh, coins are really renowned within Spain and especially especially Portugal, a lot of history there with coins and things like that. So I don't know how the coin is going to be kind of made into a Pokemon, whether it's going to be a coin as your kind of first evolution, and then you're going to get a, a stack of coins for the second, and then the third evolution will be like a treasure chest. There's a bunch of theories around this, but it is pretty exciting that we're going to get something that has a lot of lore in this part of the world um, into a Pokemon and kind of a little bit like an Aegislash, I guess, you know, sort of Pokemon being an object Pokemon um, the the Spanish coins that I was talking about you know you've got the Merit of Eve uh, coins that are very very famous coins uh, in Spain very old coins uh, and you've got a, a big connection to the Templar Knights as well which have specific coins specific Templar mintage which could be referenced in the Pokemon themselves so there is a lot of kind of tie-ins to coins around that region and you can even tie in the coins to like pirates pirate treasure and uh, um, so there is a lot of things that you could tie this this coinage into and it makes a lot of sense like i say for the region that it's based in it does appear that it is a coin specifically based off of the riddles that we've had of coup and big shout out to everyone that uh, obviously came up with those those answers and got the answers from the riddle because I personally like Google like Soul Silver says try to Google riddles because Q give us a hint to say you know it's a very common English riddle that it's based on but I could never find anything based on the information from that stage one or stage two and it's not when you kind of think about the head and the tail and then you get the answer with has a head and a tail but no body and that must be it a coin so looks like we're going to be getting a coin pokemon if we get any further confirmation on that or any more information on it i will of course follow it up but let me know your opinions based on the the coin what are your thoughts on it and do you think there'll be any reference to the coins with like the the famous merit of eve coins from spain and obviously or maybe a templar coin as well there could be two different forms of coin as well that's been hinted uh, with a gold and a silver coin uh, predominantly templar coins are normally silver merit of eve coins the very first merit of eve coin was a gold coin so there could be a gold version and a silver version again hinting back to references to the Jordan region gold and silver which we'll cover in another video i know i've said that already but very interesting nonetheless so that's the riddle pretty much solved i think and that takes us on to our next point so in amongst everything that Ku's been actively busy with this weekend, this was a really interesting post uh, The Victories posted. Ku, could you please tell us if Megas are back in any form? So Ku comes back and says, no comment on this, too early to say that much. Well, thanks for the answer, but it's weird because if they weren't, I'd say you'd come out and say they aren't. This gives me some hope, lol. Who comes back and says, because Titan got a new concept of that. I'm going to tease it maybe in August or September, not the time now. Now that's super interesting. So he's not discounting that Megas will come back, but they're coming back in a new kind of form, new concept of Mega Pokemon, which is really, really interesting. Got me thinking about a few things in regards to this. And this kind of popped up as well from Blaze and Cineral, another leak analyst as well, always has really good findings and things like this, who came across this post on 4chan. Um, and you can have a look at this uh, now. Uh, the the Cranster leaker is not real. We'll ignore that for now. We'll come back to that maybe a, a later stage. Uh, though they guessed the gimmick partially correctly. Call me Oshawott. Smolov becomes Pimenta, a Waifu Mon, 
which we already know from what Ku's kind of hinted at. She has a bunch of hard cut, half cut olives as hair and dress and looks like uh, the pit. So the, the stone of the olive greased up in olive oil. So that could make some sense. Taurus gets a cross regional evolution called Bulwark. It's a hunched over minotaur with crazed red eyes and black hair all over. It's dark fighting, which is very cool. Throwback to something like Scrafty as well from, you know, black and white region with that being a big kind of new dark fighting type from that from that generation. Pokedex law states that its human interaction with this Pokemon is caused to change its temperament for the worse, which makes a lot of sense, you know, especially with the bullfighting in uh, Spain in particular, the bulls get enraged, chase the matador and, and so on. So that makes a lot of sense. Lechonk becomes Chong Queen, which is, I really hope actually happens, um, based on the, you can put lipstick on a pig idiom. Uh, it's really weird looking and reminds me a lot of Miss Piggy. So that's kind of like a lot of the things, you know, like Ku hinted at the evolution of Lechonk being white uh, with mascara. Um, I don't know if he mentioned lipstick, but it, it kind of goes hand in hand. That this could be quite true, although that, you know, this person could have just read Ku's Ku's um, hint and kind of went from there. Kiki Reaper, uh, the final stage of the Day of the Dead-ish Rooster uh, regional bird. Masuda, Masuda hinted at this on Twitter, ghost fighting. So this could be the reference to the Galo de Barcelos. Um, and you know, this would make a lot of sense as well because it's such a, a big kind of totem for uh, Portugal. It's their national symbol. It would make sense if this was based on the third uh, legendary Pokemon that we're going to get in the game. So this is really interesting, especially the ghost and fighting type as well, because the whole lore of that story, like we covered in the last video, is that the dead cooked bird comes back to life and saves the man that's been accused of stealing. The ghost typing, fighting typing comes in there because I guess a cockerel has that kind of, you know, fighting type go by it, cock fights and things like that, you know, and um, obviously if the original typings of um, the, the legendaries we already know are true, we've got a dragon fight in, which makes a lot of sense, which is a more rooster looking one. Then you've got the electric uh, dragon, which is a more future looking one. Uh, the shattered crystals at the end of the trailer are the main gimmick of the games refractions of the past and the future through crystals similar to mega evolutions you get shard of these crystals and can transform into the past and future forms pursuing pokemon are not past forms they are considered uh, tangent evolutions so okay they, they would not get counted as that this is what really interested me specifically from like Q's tweet here to say they are uh, a new concept of mega evolution and this is what got me thinking about it um, th this makes a lot of sense and I think it's been kind of theoried as well in other places but this where you can evolve like not mega evolve but you can use the kind of refraction of these new crystals which is past and present uh, you've got the legendaries that kind of depict that as well uh, where you can choose to evolve your Pokemon into a past version of itself or a future version of itself uh, would make a lot of sense because you're in the present here. Um, I just the one drawback with this theory is, or the, like how how deep are they going with the designs or oh, the past versions of each Pokemon gonna have a a brand new design and the future gonna have a separate design or are they gonna be quite similar to how their original design looks? I just can't see Game Freak doing like hundreds of new designs if every pokemon is available to to use this new mechanic which you would imagine they are if we're going based off z crystals dynamax gigantamax are they all going to be able to use this new mechanic or is it going to only be a select few pokemon that can use it if it's only a select few pokemon that can use this new mechanic then i would say yes this is probably what it is because then the designs for both don't matter so much but if you're thinking an entire pokedex of pokemon um, whatever you've got available in this Pokedex, you're thinking, okay, well, you're not just doubling the designs for this, you're tripling the de designs for this because you're gonna have to have that, that future variation, you're gonna have the past variation, and you're gonna have to have the original, the current, like, present variation as well. So for that reason, they either are gonna be 
not very far away from each other or they're all going to be very distinct with a similar like if they go into a past version of themselves they're going to have i don't know like something that's just generic across the board every pokemon kind of has a symbol on them or a motif on them to represent that past version of themselves with maybe a type change in there and then the future one does a similar thing rather than have a full redesign of the the the, the actual design of that pokemon for a future or a past variant of them but i find it very interesting and i think it'd be very cool gimmick and uh, it could tie in as well with the type changes where we're not getting a third type in which I don't know I can't see happening uh, but it would make sense where we've got a, a past ver version of the Pokemon which is a different type a future version which is again another type or you've got the present version which is the original typing that we know them as right now very exciting very plausible and for competitive play as well it would make a lot of sense because it would make it very exciting very dynamic as well so we'll see what comes of that i'm sure you know ku said he'll leak mention something in uh, august september about that i think it'll be early august that we'll get something from ku because i'm pretty much putting my money on that we're going to get the gimmick announced at the world championships in august which is mid-august so i think he will probably put information out about that prior to that so interesting information there uh the other thing that we're going to mention just before we finish up today we've got a couple more things uh it's a <laughs> soul silver comes out it's officially coos weekend got to cover two more of his riddles but before that here more mis uh, miscellaneous leaks starting with the biggest news done sparse cross evo uh 99 confirmed unless there's a miscommunication or i've got uh, the wrong mon done boss won't get a regional form evo but an actual evolution so you can see here another one from Maelstrom here puts out Q please tell us about cross gen evos anything please so Q comes back you already know one and this goes back to a tweet from oh this is a while ago from Matt uh, I will not rest until Dunsparce has an evolution please game freak which clue Ku comes back and says mark this one so this is what we think the Ku's referring to here about the Dunsparce so um, kind of confirming that Dunsparce is going to get an evolution not a regional form but an actual evolution which will make a lot of ha fans very happy um, and that is pretty much confirmed so I could say 99% sure that we're going to get a Dunsparce evolution in Scarlet and Violet which is very exciting um, and then the final thing to end up with today is I know it's been a bit of a long one but here we go um, Ku has put out another request a poll out asking what uh you what uh, design motif or starters final stages we'll answer on the 30th of june and also after this i'll never tease the other two until release so want to keep your favorite a secret and vote for the others or can't wait to know your true love and vote up to the moon up to you so here are the voting that is going on at the moment ku's put up so he says uh you want to know the design motifs of the starters final stages you've got the choice whoever wins he's not going to tease anything else until uh the game's released so um there we go uh at the minute fio coco is winning you can see that i've i voted for coco but uh i'm probably more excited to know about fio coco than the other two i think the other two are very exciting uh, all the stars look amazing in this all the leaks information rumors theories that we've had about these stars it's very exciting i think it's going to be one of the best generations of pokemon that we've had scarlet and violet so i don't mind which one ever wins but uh few coco would be a good one because it at the minute it's a bit up in the air with what the final evo of few coco is actually going to be but um we'll cover that on the 30th i guess when ku puts it out but there's plenty of more things going on so we'll be back soon with more information leaks and rumors to discuss for skull and violet but let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on the things that we've covered today specifically the coin pokemon and the links to portugal spain the meridive and the the knights templar and things like that that could come into these games i think it's really interesting and also the a huge mega kind of link leak hint to the new concept of megas in scarlet and violet i think if we got what this 
Um, theory is about a past version and a present version in Scarlet and Violet, which is very similar to Mega Pokemon. I think it's going to be incredible. I would be very happy with it. Mega Pokemon, Mega Evolution is a big fan favorite. And to have something like this kind of come back in a way where it's not exactly the same, it's a little bit different, but plays on the concept of the game, past, present, and future, is very exciting. So let me know. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video, friends. If you have, please consider dropping a like on the video. It does really help. And do subscribe to keep up to date with all of the leaks and rumors that are coming out in the run up to these games dropping so until the next one friends take care of yourselves and bye bye